raising fractions to higher terms. Uh, in another books or sources online, you will find that this is actually called writing equivalent fractions, fractions that that look different but they have the same value. Now here, uh, the purpose of raising a fraction to a higher terms means that you need to multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by a non-zero number. What does it mean? It means that if I have 4 fifths and I want to find an equivalent fraction, I need to multiply it times the same amount of number, for the same number, for example, times 2 and times 2 here, in the numerator and the denominator, or as we call it informally, top and bottom. So that will give you 8 over 10. So these are also called equivalent fractions. They are the same fractions, they have the same value. They look different, but they do have the same value. Now, you can also multiply it times 3 and 3. So that will be 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 3 is 15. So once again, they are equivalent fractions. Remember that you cannot multiply by zero because what happens if we multiply by zero? We will have something looking like this. Zero over zero. Later on you will know that we cannot divide by zero because the number will be undefined. Now, and you know also that zero and four fifths they are pretty much not the same, okay? So you can multiply by a number that is not zero. Okay? You cannot multiply by zero. You can multiply by one, two, three, and another whole number, but not zero.